Can I say to you, Minister, I have a number of concerns uh, that I want to, to flag with you, and I hope that you can either address them through the committee and report stages of this particular piece of legislation or between now uh, and Budget Day. And one of those, uh, Minister, is the, the temporary wage subsidy scheme. Uh, I'm someone that had advocated that I think this should have been uh, far more extensively used than the pandemic unemployment payment. I welcome the fact that it is uh, being extended and put on, on a statutory basis. But I have concerns that staff in my part of the country who have been directly impacted uh, by uh, COVID with the uh, fall off in the demand for electricity initially, and this, that was the seasonal staff uh, in Bordnemona and subsequently as a result of, of planning decisions. Those seasonal staff, many of whom were not called back by Bordnemona prior to uh, the 1st of March. As a result of that, they are ineligible uh, for this subsidy. They're not in receipt of the pandemic uh, unemployment payment, uh, and they are, are drawing uh, off uh, their uh, means payment under um, unemployment assistance in many cases uh, now uh, at this stage. So, Minister, we need to ensure, if we're talking about a just transition, that we have a just transition for the seasonal staff in Bordnemona who have lost out on the uh, temporary wage subsidy scheme and have lost out on the pandemic unemployment payment. And I would hope that you will engage with uh, Bordnemona specifically uh, on that issue. And when you are engaging with Bordnemona, Minister, I'd be grateful if you could bring up another issue. Uh, and I know that uh, last um, October there was specific funding uh, set aside uh, for Bordnemona. We have uh, legislation here last week with the same purpose. The objective was to try and guarantee employment for Bordnemona employees in terms of a just transition in rehabilitating uh, the bogs across the Midlands. Now, staff have informed me, as a result of the agreement that was received with the Workplace Relations Commission, there is no commitment to employment of seasonal staff within Bordnemona to carry out this rehabilitative work. Uh, they definitely won't be uh, employed in the three winter months of the year, but there is no guarantee that they will actually get uh, employment during the other nine months of the year. And it is imperative that uh, Bordnemona staff have the opportunity uh, to gain employment as a result of the investment that has been channeled through the company into the Midland counties.